This video was brought to you by our Patreon backers like Naveen B. Support the channel and get access to our exclusive new studio tour by signing up. Corporate tax is the percentage of profit that companies have to pay to their government. Pretty much every country in the world has a corporate tax, with the level of taxation being set at the local level. However, President Biden suggested to shift this model, a move towards a global corporate tax. This plan is set to earn countries around the world millions, and even end tax havens. But is that a good thing? Well, let's unpack that right now. The idea of a global corporate tax has been around for a while now, but as is so often the case with major global shifts like this, it needs the backing of a superpower to get attention. In this case, the impetus comes from US President Joe Biden, who has recently suggested the implementation of a global corporate tax, which would set corporate tax rates at at least 15% globally. Originally, the US wanted to set the rate higher, at 21%, but it was then revised down to at least 15%, which is notably less than the rate charged by any G7 country currently. Despite this, many of the largest companies in the world are expected to pay more tax than ever. But let me explain. Setting a standardized corporate tax rate helps to prevent companies from booking their revenues in low-tax countries, often referred to as tax havens, in order to avoid tax. This is a process whereby a country shifts their money around the world rather than pay the profit in the country where the sales actually take place, instead shifting them to other countries with lower or no corporate tax. If all countries had the same corporate tax rate, then this wouldn't be possible. Companies wouldn't have an incentive to shift their money around the world, and there wouldn't be what the US has described as a global race to the bottom. That's certainly significant, the so-called death of tax havens, but possibly more monumental is the reallocation of tax revenues. This is the idea that under the global corporate tax model, tax revenues will be redirected to where the sales were made. So let's say a company decides to book all of their finances in one place. Instead of that government picking up the entire tax revenue, it will be redirected around the world based on sales in each country. This means that big companies like Amazon, Google, or Apple would start having to pay big tax bills to countries who currently get very little at the moment. This is obviously a big win for these countries, but it's a major loss for the tax havens. Tax havens might not collect any money in corporate tax, but companies residing within their borders do support a whole economy of lawyers, accountants, and the like, who'd suddenly be out of a job. This would be a major shift too, Current estimates predict that 40% of all multinationals' revenue are artificially shifted to countries with lower tax rates. And it's not just places like the Cayman Islands or Bermuda who'd be affected. Many major European nations like Ireland and Luxembourg could be hit hard. Ireland, for example, used their 12.5% corporate tax rate to attract businesses and investment. And this time, that's not just boosting accountants in the country, it's also leading to huge employment opportunities in Ireland. See Google's huge European office in the country as a prime example. So if the plans are going to hit a bunch of countries hard, then is it even possible to make it happen, even with the might of the US? Well, maybe. Biden's expected to put forward the proposal at the G7 meeting taking place at the end of this week, and fellow members are expected to back the plan. If successful, it will likely also be tabled at the G20 meeting next month, before progressing to all countries involved in the OECD inclusive framework. And, well, currently at least, it looks like there's an appetite for the plan, even if some countries will likely object. The EU could see some issues here though. Ireland and their low tax allies, notably Hungary and Cyprus, could veto the plans, as the EU requires unanimity in tax decisions. However, doing so could be difficult. The EU's likely to push hard for this, especially with US backing, and rejecting a plan which makes big businesses pay might not be great when public appetite for such plans is only rising. So, presuming talks continue and things continue down the current path, it's possible that Biden's vision for a global corporate tax rate might become a reality, and with it, the death of tax havens.
You remember at the start of this video, I mentioned our patron Naveen. Well, they're just one of the patrons who make this whole business possible. In return for their generous support, they get their name mentioned in videos, early access to content, exclusive live events, and more. To find out what you can get and sign up, click the link in the description.